Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be giving you a quick beginner's guide to video color grading in Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder, and inside this folder, I've got this one video clip which I downloaded from the Pexels website. I'll put a link to that same video clip in the YouTube description. So let's go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere Pro, and we'll take this video clip and just drag it and drop it into our projects here. So we've got the video clip in here. Let's drag and drop it onto the timeline. So it's just like this little sort of drone or flying video clip and we just want to try and improve the colors and try and make this this uh, video content pop a little bit more in terms of its colors and color grading is really down to your own perspective right so there's no correct wrong or right ways to color grade it's down to what you want that video clip to look like so as we're flying through this scene we can see like we've got a nice blue sky so we can see it's daylight so what we'll do is we'll just do some basic color corrections. So we're going to go over to Lumetri Color here, click on the drop down and go to basic corrections here. When we open this, we get a few different options. So temperature, you know, is it a sunny, bright day or is it a cold sort of more towards the colder side? So I want to set it more towards the colder side because I want to get more blue into this sky. You can see the sky here. An easy way to check how, how things are looking between the original clip and your color correction is just to turn this off and on. So you can turn it off and on you can see the sky here and when we turn it back on the color correction we can see it's got more vibrancy more blue in there the exposure is pretty good so sometimes when you're filming something and if the exposure is really bad you can increase the exposure to give more um, sort of exposure more brightness to this image but um i think we'll, we'll you know we'll brighten it up slightly just a small amount and then we can turn it off and on again and we can see the brightness helps the you know the overall picture the contrast between the light and dark uh, i want to add some more contrast to this it will just make everything look a little bit more um, make the image pop a little bit more so we can see the improvements here so far and then you've got light uh, the highlights so these will be more of the white areas do you want to increase those highlights or decrease them i think we're going to leave them roughly where they are i don't think we need to change the highlights so we set this back to a zero value shadows so here we can either decrease or increase the shadows in our scene um, the shadows are pretty good in this as well because when we're looking at the ground you can see like the black elements uh, in the mountains and stuff it seems to be pretty good uh, so i don't think we need to change this value so sometimes you don't need to change your value don't change these for the sake of it change them because they improve the image right the video content and the whites these are pretty good so we can just increase these maybe slightly just a slight amount and then the blacks we can bring those down a bit because i want to have more sort of black darker colors in there especially when we're flying over this scene uh you want them blacks to be you should move through your video clip a little bit and just see how it looks from different um frames right not always from the same frame so let's move to around here we can see what things look like and then we can increase or decrease so if we leave our blacks out around here it looks a bit washed out as we start to bring them down you just get a bit more better color in there then you've got saturation so we can increase our saturation just to give it a bit more color uh, you can see the ground here <clears throat> as we increase the saturation you'll get more of a sort of better coloring on the ground here so we can turn it off and on so you can see the original clip and now you can see the one that we've color corrected it's not perfect you can spend a lot of time tweaking the contrast tweaking the exposure just to get this exactly as you want it to be so this is not a little five minute job uh, you know if you want to do a quick thing then you can do that but sometimes you want to spend a bit of time uh, putting the effort into making this color correction exactly as you would want to see it so let's turn this off and on and we can see the difference between the original one it looks a little bit washed out it's not too bad we can play that and as we play we can just turn on our color correction turn it off and on and you can see the difference between those pieces of video content so that's how i do some basic color correction using adobe premiere pro there's some more advanced options i'll go through these maybe in some subsequent tutorials don't forget to check out my new adobe tutorial channel i'll put a link to that in the youtube description so definitely go there and subscribe you can find a lot more adobe related tutorials for photoshop for uh, adobe after effects and also quite a lot for adobe premiere as well so i'll put a link to my new channel in the youtube description let's minimize this that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial